welcome back to the channel here to Southeast Ohio Solar Haven. So today we're going to bring you what's behind the black box. Um, we were talking about in early videos that I've done about supercapacitors and I've had a lot of questions about them over the years. And uh, people has, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? You know, what, what are their uses and everything and how big are these or whatever well in my hands here we're gonna go ahead and show you I use the Maxwell super caps right here and that's how big they are in my hand they're like a D sized battery and you will want six of these for a 12 volt system um, because the max voltage on them 16.2 and here's a circuit board that I had purchased here a while back or a good while ago actually and they're by CSD well not sure if you can see that on there not sure if it shows up on the video backward either so <laughs> anyway these are the boards that I used and they have a printed circuit board in the back end of it this is a balancing board um, it keeps the uh, voltages of these capacitors balanced much like uh, lithium batteries um, these charge up to 16.2 volts and what happens is underneath on these boards here there'll be there's little red LEDs that light up and what that does that says it's starting to balance so the, that will mean that these capacitors have hit their max voltage of 2.7 volt that they're rated at and they start balancing the voltages in between um, these are 350 farads each, um, which when you put capacitors in series, which lowers the uh, farads down to around 58 farad. So that's why these are a very powerful storage system. Um, what I use these for is basically for surge. Um, you can hook one of these, take the wires at the end of those, hook your battery into your power inverter, and then hook that in to your power inverter at the same time. And say if you're using a, a, a battery that you're trying to start something with, uh, a high current device with your, um, a high current device, let's get this right. Oh, look, it still had juice on it. A high current device um, with your inverter and your battery can't supply enough amperage for that initial boost well this right here will store that excess energy and unload it quick enough so you can um, I didn't know that was still loaded so that was a good one then we have what I like to call the ultimate size capacitors these are the larger sized Maxwell boost caps. These are 3,000 farads piece at 2.7 volt. This right here is probably uh, almost 10 times the capacity as one of these D cells. So you can compare them in size right there. Now, people ask me uh, a lot of questions uh, how I've got connected up to my system well here's my bank of capacitors for my larger solar system and this is connected live so I'll have to be careful I put this inside one of these little ammo containers for safekeeping but I can pull it out and I can show you I'll pull it out of the box here now that's just the way it is right here I've got this connected to my battery bank right here. This is two gauge welding cable. Now these packs right here, as you can see, they're already pre put together. 
and everything plus they got balance boards on them and what I've done is I taken a tw you know the, these are rated at 16.4 volt max and uh, what I've done is I wired two of these together in series not parallel this this is the negative end that comes to the positive end right here and then it comes back over and goes to the negative and then here's the positive side of this other one so these are wired in series to make 24 volt and in between here underneath this tape and stuff they got what they call balance boards right here I got a ton of them because I was building super capacitor banks for car stereo systems but right here as you can see on this board here you saw our wire right here it goes to your other side of the capacitors that keeps these balanced at 2.7 volt this is a 5.4 volt board but this is two for 2.7 volt capacitors and that's what those are now because I've got these two packs here and each one of these capacitors are at 3000 Farad once again this is not 12 times 3 this is not 36,000 Farad that would be crazy amount of joules and of energy going on there so what happens the same thing here what happens is is when you tie these in series in parallel the farad goes up it's much like a battery bank if you put batteries in series or in parallel take it back you put parallel put batteries in parallel your amp hours go up but your voltage stays the same well same here when you put these in series your amp hours won't increase but your voltage increases and it's the same way with kind of sorted like how it happens but in, in electronics world capacitors you divide the number in series by uh, say if you have three devices at a thousand farad then you have 333 farad well same here these are 3000 farad capacitors so what happens is it just turns this into a 500 farad capacitor bank same right here it's 500 farad now the funniest thing is when you tie these two in series it drops it down because you're raising the voltage well guess what now you have a 250 farad bank at 24 volt and I will tell you that's no joke this right here you can weld with literally weld do stick welding with not a problem and um, each one of these uh, each one of these banks has a maximum release current of around mm, if I remember right reading the spec sheet it's probably around 2300 amps so this uh, I divide that in half so basically I look at it as a thousand amp or 1200 a thousand to a 1200 amp surge device uh, you know if my inverter up on the wall here big blue needs uh, 200 amps of surge current real quick because it needs to start a motor instead of it drawing it from my lithium battery bank or or it tripping out a BMS or something like this this right here will take care of it this will just it's like um, the analogy is you got a storage tank and what happens is is like let's uh, take the analogy of a uh, toilet you got your water tank say that's your capacitor and then you got your water line coming into your um, toilet and that's your battery wires or your you know your water lines your battery coming from your battery you know you got a and you need fast current to get there well as soon as you hit the flush thing you know wham you got all that water flush in your toilet well that's the same thing that basically happens here and a lot of people just don't understand it how it works out but this is what I use on my system uh, at home here on my 24 volt system on my main system um, I've been using this now for two or three years 
and I've had no issues whatsoever. The only thing you have to make sure of is if you go out and purchase one of these banks like this, make sure you charge it up first. Um, you know, use a 100 ohm resistor or whatever. Don't expect to connect it to a battery charger and to charge because most battery chargers won't sense a zero voltage out and it won't charge. You got to get them starting to charge. You got to get them above 9 or 10 volts before a battery charger will actually start charging them. Or you can use a power supply and give it very low current. But I've been using this probably for two or three years and not had an issue. Um, so yeah, that's how they work out. I'd, I'd love to give you more information on them. Um, but it's a long drawn out story. But this is what I use. And you can buy these capacitors separate. You can actually buy these separate. And you can buy these boards separate to build your own. These are great for 12 volt systems. If you got a small 12 volt system, this little setup right here will, will do you great. Uh, if you got a large 24 volt system, and it's the same thing, uh, 48 volt, you just want to get two more and put them in series, you'd be golden. But anyway, I hope that clears up some issues with uh, super capacitors and stuff like that. Some people's asked about it and everything. Uh, like I said, this is connected directly to my battery bank. I don't got the camera set where I can show it to you, but trust me, it's connected straight to the battery bank because it's right here next to me where all this bundle wire is. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked the video and have a good day. And, you know, click on that thing down there on that subscribe button, will you? <laughs>